Hi, this is Amanda from the Hong Kong MIMO Mobile Migo User Group. Today, I would like to show you how we can make use of some existing applications in the MIMO 5 platform to learn how to read, write, and speak Chinese. First of all, we have to prepare some Chinese contents. We can make use of a tool called G-Translate. This is an online translation tool making use of the Google Translate service. We can specify the source language, for example, English, and the target language, for example, Chinese. And then we specify some simple sentence. Say we specify this sentence, hello, how are you today? And then we click translate. And we obtain the translated version in Chinese. If you wish, you can double check this translation by reversing the translation order. For example, setting Chinese as the source language and the target language as English. We can do so by clicking this reverse button. And we click translate again. So make sure the translation is consistent and is what you expected before you make use of the translated text. And let's check out how we speak this sentence in Chinese. copy this sentence to the clipboard, and then we paste it to an application called eSpeed GUI Client. And then we can select the language to be spoken. In the language menu, we have Chinese Mandarin and Chinese Cantonese. Mandarin is the official dialect used by the Chinese government and many other provinces in China. And the Cantonese one is a um, dialect that is used properly in Hong Kong, Macau, and overseas Chinese societies. We first try the Mandarin one first, and then click on the speak Hello. button. And we can listen to the Cantonese version as well. The most challenging bit of learning Chinese is to learn how to write Chinese characters. Chinese characters are a lot like the Western alphabets. There are many thousands of combinations of characters, and each of the characters has its own meaning and stroke orders. In MIMO 5, we've got an application called Stroke Order. This is the application that allows users to type Chinese characters by specifying the stroke orders of the character. Basically, there are five basic strokes of all Chinese characters. And by entering these basic strokes, we can type Chinese in our mobile phones. And this is also the popular method of input in most Nokia phones. For example, if I want to type wood in Chinese, I can click these stroke buttons in sequence and then we can find the character wood and as I and as I selected the wood character there is a list of associated phrases of wood that allows me to select for example wooden house and goes on and on. For the house character, there are its associated phrases as well. So, how can we check how to write a particular Chinese character? For example, this character means house. And we can select it, copy it to the clipboard, and then make use of a new feature of the software called Strokes Enquiry. We paste the character and click Next. And as you can see, the stroke order displayed. The stroke order is often followed by the writing order, meaning if I write this character by following this stroke on paper, I can just do it from top to bottom, left to right order. 
this stroke correspond to this this stroke correspond to this and that's right as you can see it follows exactly the same directing order of the strokes and if you are learning Chinese characters and learn how to write Chinese characters this tool would be useful to you and you can also make use of the other tools I mentioned eSpeak GI client to speak Chinese characters and G-Translate to get the meaning of Chinese characters so this is all what I have to share today and I hope you can enjoy learning Chinese with your Nokia N900.